Hello everyone, it's Ruman here, and today I'm going over LUI Extended and how I have it set up. So LUI Extended is one of the, I mean, it's a little bit an old end on at the moment, but I still keep using it because I just really like LUI Extended and it still works perfectly fine, even as an outdated add-on. So I will be going over LUI Extended, how you can like adjust it and change it, and how I currently have my settings. So first of all, you have LUI Extended itself. So how I have the settings, it's actually pretty standard to how you get the add-on when you start out. So here I have the info panels like show latency, show um, soul gems. The only thing that I have turned off is the Imperial City trophy counts. So the info panel elements is something I have on the right top. Like here you can see it, my current time, my ping, my um, FPS, the amount of soul gems my um, items, whether my weapons need to be charged or not, they are yellow, they are getting close to being empty and they need a soul gem recharge and when they are red they are empty and then how much my armor rating is at the moment and if I'm in need of repairs. So yeah, here I only turn up the Imperial City trophy count, I mean mount feed time I have it turned on off you don't see it because I'm already maxed out. Once you're trained, see, it's automatically taken away now but it's really up to you if you want to like show any of this i personally really like it like this and it doesn't bother me so combat info show combat info and display cooldown it's always good to have that cloud type area unlock areas if you unlock the areas you can basically move the alerts around if you want to like this and just you know test it out where you like it best you can also change the size for, for example I have it pretty standard again, like 30, 22, and 18. But this way you can definitely change the size if you want it to be smaller, you know. You want to see less of it on your screen or you want to see more of it. I disable the scrolling type area options because it will just give me way too much if I have this enabled as well. So I just like to have these cloud type area effects instead of the scrolling type. So font family, font family to use on floating text. I just have this all pretty standard, you know. I always liked how this was, but basically you can here change everything like the amount of healing that comes in, the outgoing of healing, the outgoing damage over time effects, everything. Like if you want to adjust it a little bit more, if you want to show it more or less, you can get rid of that. Show the experience gain when you kill an NPC, alliance points and tower stone, stuff like that. So alert options, I actually have um, I actually have the standard stuff like block, dodge, exploit combat tips. I actually have these turned off, you know. Where it's like a sniper or something incoming and the game it, like it has a big pop of like roll dodge now, I have that turned off. Um, it's totally up to you if you want to enable that on us. But I personally have it turned off. It also shows something for its functionality to work properly. You also have to go settings, interface and select always show for active combat tips options high default active combat tips windows on or off if you have this on it will hide it but yeah i have this turned off you can also have a notification for like execute now if you want that and you can put the threshold yourself so if you are maybe a mech sword you know and you are like okay at 25 percent, i really want to place the execute on someone you put it at 25 percent if you are like maybe stamina knife blade with a really strong execution or you are like 35% I can execute someone, there you go. You can also manually change it to any percentage if you want to, but I like to just keep it at 25. But I don't have any notification sounds or enable execute alert on at the moment as I overall have the bar show up on people and I know when to execute or not. Buffs and debuff options. Enable effects tracking, hardlock positions, so you can hardlock them. Again, here you can change the icon size and stuff like that. Pretty much everything. Long-term effects, I have a lot. I have it just turned off, okay? Like, long-term effects are like the Munders, Equipments, if I'm a Werewolf or Vampire, Cyrodiil Bonuses, everything like that. I, I just have those turned off. Like, the only thing that maybe would be useful to do is, like, your buff foods. Like your buff food, maybe you want to keep that one on if you can't forget it a lot. But overall, I don't forget it. It happens to me so now and then and I forget it. But I have the long-term effects just turn off because I know they are there. And I just don't need to see them all the time on my screen. 
Here you can also enable a damage meter if you want to. You can enter meter mini panels. So if you turn this on, it can be on. And then you can check it as well. Extra notes for it. Chat announcement and like you can adjust the chat announcement, loot announcements. So this is basically what pops up like in your group chat. When you loot, I get for example, loot 50 gold from XXX Corpse. And then your group member like xxx room member looted uh rubido letter jack stuff like that so if you want to see what you loot from you know from a chest or from a corpse or anything you can turn this off if you don't like that you can turn it off so lei extended free unit frames the full player frame you want to disable this you don't want to have to this the standard player frame and health bar or anything like that so i have those two disabled like the full target frame the full player frame and here, format, out of combat, bars, transparency. I mean, like I said, this is all pretty standard, to be honest. I didn't really change anything to this because I always always was like, you know, this is pretty okay. Now, this I actually customized a little bit. Like, you can first of all change your name if you want, you know. If you really like to see your own name, if you're legendary and your CP, you can max it out. I personally have it at, at like, uh, yeah, what is it? something like this something like this is pretty okay for me like 18 to 20 and font size bar there you can um, change the letter types on your bars so if you want to see your numbers a bit bigger on your health bars you can uh, make the font size bigger here if you want to see it smaller then you can make it smaller i kind of like it to have it around 20 something like this it's pretty nice and it's not too cluttered you can change the colors for your health bar if you want that like, it's very, very customizable, you know. It really is amazing how much you can customize it. And then here you can um, change everything separately, like... Well, I mean, you, the magic and stamina combines. I personally like to play with health at 37 and magic and stamina at 30. I guess I just like my health to be a little bit bigger because that's my main focus. Doesn't matter how much stamina or magic I have is if my health is zero. So I personally run with 37 on health and 30 on magic and stamina. But again, if you like if you like wider bars, like you can choose everything, you know. You can have really wide bars. You can have uh, very small bars. It really is up to you. I currently run with 300 and like 37 and 30 like this. But if you like it bigger or smaller, that's simply how you adjust it like over here. Display your name on player frame. So, up for you if you want to show your name there or not. I mean, again, <clears throat> this is all standard. All these settings here are standard. I pretty much kept this on. Enable this add-on group frames. If you want to add on version from LUI extended or not, then you can um, allow that. Boss frames, everything. And here you can adjust it more. Friendly player front color, friendly NPC front color. You can also choose to unlock these bars if you want to like move them around. If you want to replace them or place them somewhere else so then you have to go here custom unit frames unlock custom frames there you go now i can just drag it around wherever i want them i have like a raid group once you get like in a 24 man group this one will pops up and if i'm in a small group this is like until four men this one will pop up you can also very simple i think i uh, no, you cannot i thought you could like drag them um, extended but you cannot but yeah it's all um, customizable boss groups target debuffs like this is your enemy so this is your target and this is you so yeah that's really up to you and if you want to reset the position you can just hit reset position and get back to the beginning so yeah that's pretty much all there is to know about my add-on and lui extended it's pretty straightforward um i think it's actually quite easy to get used to it's just a little bit where is what once you get the add-on first but I personally really love this add-on. I never have issues with this add-on. Like, I honestly installed this add-on like three, four years ago. Well, this computer is like actually four years old now. And I directly installed it and I haven't updated it ever since. Like, I just enable out of date add-on and I never have issues with this add-on. It doesn't cost me for any frame drops or like extra lag or latency. It's an amazing add-on, very well optimized and very customizable. And it makes me have a very clean overview that i really do like actually i mean apart from that in the gameplay you can change some of the standard settings like always show your um 
always show your attribute bar like ability bar always show attribute bar and don't show resource numbers off combat tips off and then i have this all off because i just used the add-on so that's pretty much it i know it has been a long time due but hopefully you guys will enjoy my annual video i know it's quite a long video like 10 minutes talking about it but i just want to make sure i covered everything so you guys know where to go for what wish you guys a great day and hopefully i see you on the stream twitch.tv slash sky and check out my website learn eso.net for builds guides tutorials and more bye bye i'm out